Hey, what's up you guys? So this is a new style of Pokemon Facts video that I'm going to be start doing where I talk about Pokemon physiology, their origins, and their mythology. I'll try to talk about 3 Pokemon per episode and sometime even more, so let me know which Pokemon I should talk about next. So let's begin. The first Pokemon on the list is Lapras. Lapras's name is a corruption of the word La Place, which means seat in French. This is a reference to how people would sit on his back like a seat to be ferried across bodies of water. This ability of carrying people on its back was fully implemented in Generation 6. When you use the HM Surf with Lapras, you get to sit on Lapras's back. Now, because the Lapras population likes to interact with humans a lot, they became an easy target for hunters. In fact, many of Lapras's Pokedex entries states that they are being hunted so much that they are almost to the point of extinction. Now, this idea of extinction of the Lapras population derives from the origin of its creation. Lapras is based on the Loch Ness Monster, a creature that resembles an extinct order of marine reptiles known as plesiosaurs. Lapras was originally called Ness in the beta stage of Pokemon Red and Blue, and you can even see the monster aspect of Lapras in the original drawing, the visible teeth, which cannot be seen in later designs. The next Pokemon on the list is Frostlass. According to the Pokedex, a woman who was lost in an icy mountain was reborn as Frostlass. Now this entry is a reference to its origin. Frostlass is based on Yukiana, a female ice spirit of Japanese folklore. The legend speaks of Yukiana as a snow woman who wears a white kimono. This explains why Frostlass is a female-only species and why its body is shaped like a kimono. In many stories, it is said that Yukiana once had a child, and humans with evil intention took the child away from her. And so, to seek revenge, she finds travelers who are trapped in snowstorms and uses her icy breath to freeze their body and kill them. This story was implemented in the Diamond and Pearl Pokemon episode titled The Drifting of Snowrunt, when Frostlass invites Ash and friends into a cozy cabin during a blizzard, which was later discovered was a trap and the cabin was an illusion. The third Pokemon on the list is Qram. According to Qram's Pokedex entries, it generates a powerful freezing energy inside itself, but its body became frozen when the energy leaked out. This is a reference to the concept of absolute zero. When the temperature reaches its lowest point, everything freezes instantly. Unlike most Pokemon, Qram has two origin stories. The first one says that Qram fell from a meteor and crashed on Earth, and as a result, created the giant chasm. This also explains why Qram has a rock-like body. The second story says that when the original dragon that created Unova split into Reshiram and Zekrom, a third dragon was created, the leftover Qram. This idea is a reference to the concept of yin and yang, where Qram symbolizes the absence of yin and yang. This version of the story makes a bit more sense because it is also reflected on Qram's Black and White 2's Pokedex entry, which states that Qram is waiting for a hero to fill in the missing parts of his body with truth and ideals, thereby becoming the original dragon once more. Alright, that is all for this video. I'll be back with another video soon, so subscribe and stay tuned.